A school without music is like a body without a soul. This is what Don Bosco said in one of his memories. Music is essential in every Salesian institution, and it plays a vital role in formation of the life of all Bosconians, forming each and every one of them to become good Christians and upright citizens. In Don Bosco Makati, we express our love for music through a special group of young people who sings not just for themselves, but also for the man above. The Boscoral! Rating may kunur na sa dulaman de hela Kaya ng progader sa dulaman de hela Dulaman, dulaman, dulaman na pinabe Dulaman na pinabe de hela Dulaman, dulaman, dulaman I'm Alvin Pauline, the musical director of Boscoral. Um, as far as I know, the Boscoral started, uh, uh, was founded in 2006 under Mr. Frederick Estrada. Then after that, a, a year after, ako na yung nagtuloy as a newly hired teacher. Since 2005, although the name of uh, the, the group is not uh, Boss Coral yet at the time. Between me and Sir Alvin, we'd like to count the number of years of the Boss Coral. I think it's, they just celebrated their 10th year. This is the 10th year of the Boss Coral with Sir Alvin. Prior to Sir Alvin being the conductor, I think there was one or two years before that. I've been a member of Boss Coral since 2006. So, the following 13 years, na din, ever since Boss Girl started, the si, uh, pinaka first na nagtayo ng Boss Girl name niya was Sir Fred. I forgot his last name na, pero ano siya, um, he was here from first year until second year ko, so that's 2006 and 2007 lang. And then nagtake over na si Sir Poli nung third year na ko. I have been a member of Boss Girl since 2012, um, up to present actually. Um, pero between those years, um, meron din akong time off from Boss Coral kasi studies, ganyan. Tapos, um, pero kada umaalis ako ng Boss Coral, kada nagtitake ako ng break, sabi ko sa sarili ko na um, lay low lang muna kasi hindi ko kaya medyo i-balance. So, nagtitake ako ng time off. Pero talagang parang first week pa lang na hindi ako nag-practice, parang hinahanap ko agad siya. Parang pag andun ka kasi, nagpa-practice ka. Napapagod ka, pero at the same time, hanap-hanapin mo siya pag nag-take ka ng time off. Lalo na nung after nung graduation namin, after grade 12, talagang kahit nasa college na, talagang naghahanap pa, kami, naghahanap pa rin kami ng time para bumalik sa Boss Girl, para makipractice and make good music. Tsaka yung bond as a family, andun na siya. And may separation anxiety kapag hindi mo na nakakasama yung mga members and parang hindi mo let go na parang ang... Sobrang laking part na ng life mo yun, halos buong high school life mo. I've been a member of Boss Coral since I was grade 7. So, so matagal na tagal na din na member ako ng Boss Coral and been following them for, for so many years. Then, 2007, when we had the, the Boss Coral, they started to compete. I think the, the first competition they, uh, they participated in was the Yoshinoya and they were named as the sec uh, first runner-up, I think. So that was the, the first achievement of Boss Coral. But the memorable one, I think, when they, when they were judged as the champion during the inter Don Bosco cultural competition, I think it was held in the Paris, in the in Saint John Bosco Paris, <laughs> that was the memorable one because you know seeing them achieving something, and the group is just new at the time. Uh, sobrang nakakakilabot kasi parang sobrang proud ka bilang teacher nila ng no mga kumakanta. And I think that was the memorable one. Napakasarap maging teacher ng Don Bosco Makati that time when they were judged as champion. When they were asked to perform here and they shared their talents, so everyone witnessed how good they were. Well, as they say, it's, there are really too many things to mention, but 
there was this one occasion wherein I joined them uh, in one competition. Maybe that was three years ago. It was an MBC competition. And actually, I, uh, I watch uh, previous competitions of Boss Choral. And But this particular competition, uh, I really joined uh, because I know it is really of a high-level competition. So I really would want to see the level of quality, the level of expertise uh, of Boss Choral. And when I was really watching Boss Choral and their other competitors, I re it really made an impact and I was really very proud of our Boss Choral. And winning that particular competition was really a moment of pride for me as a Salesian educator to be present at that uh, important event in their lives. But of course, these are one of the many championships and one of the many winnings that they've had. But personally, I'm just so happy and blessed that of all the many competitions that they have joined, I am part of that uh, time wherein they really won. Yung very first first place namin. Ah, uh, kailan ba to? 2011 Cl Chorus Clef. Graduate na ako noon. I was already in college, pero sumasali pa rin ako kasi the age category until 21 years old sa pagkakaalala ko. So since pasok pa ako sa ano, sa age category, sumali ako and then yan yung pinaka first time for Boss Girl to feel yung ano Victory talaga, first place. So, as a student in Don Bosco, Makati, uh, one of the most memorable experiences that I have encountered back then was our very first competition in 2007. Uh, that was in December 2007, where in uh, numerous numerous things happened. Then there was a there was an engagement prior to the final round of the. Yoshinoya competition in SM Mega Mall back then. That was the time that despite all those shortcomings, uh, we, we still made it and we actually we actually made it to the to the first runner-up of that competition, even defeating the last year's defending champion back then. There is no progress or accomplishments without sacrifice. These young boys had their own sacrifices that they had to attend to in order to do what they do best, singing for the Lord. As compared to other regular students who have plenty of time after school hours for their school works, the Boss Choral members have to attend practices, they have to be committed, they have to, they have to be responsible. For, for the talents that they were given. They are good at singing, they are good at choir singing, and they have to be responsible for that. And they know, they know that they have to do this for themselves, for their parents, and more especially for Don Bosco. Sacrifice. Um, siguro yung pag-spend ko with them, tapos kailangan ako sa family. So yun ang isa sa mga sacrifices na ginawa ko for the choir. Na parang hindi na ako masyadong nakikita sa, sa loob ng family. Pero ginagawa ko yung time na magkakasama pa rin kami. Then at the same time, sacrifice, siguro yung pag-uwi. <laughs> pag-uwi ng late. Kasi sa Cavite pa ako, so sobrang, sobrang layo. Then gigising ka ng ng maaga para pumasok ng 7 a.m. na class. So, meron pa. Sacrifice. Minsan, emotional. Very emotional ako na parang parang kapag na, sobrang na-attach ako para sa, sa grupo at saka sobrang na-attach ako sa bata. Parang ang hirap i-let go. Lalo na kapag um, graduation, yun. Nakikita ko sila na parang aalis na ng grupo, aalis na ng... ng ng loob ng choir. So, para ang hirap-hirap. Every time there's a competition, they always stay late. And during class, they always ask permission if they can be excused. Obviously, when they were excused, they have to catch up with the lessons they miss. 
and they do that every break time or dismissal time, they ask their teachers how can they catch up with their lessons. Yung mga achievements nila, halos every year meron, di ba? Alam niyo yan. Kapag kami program, talagang, talagang ano yan eh, hinihintay ng mga students. Pati ako, lalo ako. And then when they compete here, locally, or maybe internationally, sometimes you really have to pray. But of course, knowing the, the boss choral, they will always uh, give their best. But what is really uh, something that is remarkable to them is that even on summer vacation or Christmas vacation, they are always in the music room in order to harness their specific skills in music. The pinaka a sacrifice is yung time talaga, time and sa efforts. Kasi yun yung pinaka may rapi ihandle talaga, i maintain ganon. Time every single kaya lang ba yung practice na nito ko? Twice or thrice a week from four to six after classes. Dere cho kami sa choir practice and then uwe. So we try to balance talaga yung academics and then extracurricular para lang mga salis sa ano sa sa choir. Of course, I sacrifice my time. The time that I should be studying, it's not really that, uh, well, it depends on, you know, we have to balance my time for studying and for studying and for the choir, but it's actually more of uh, committing your whole self to the choir. That uh, It's one of those sacrifices that I make in order for me to be committed to this, to this choir. Everyone's been saying this time. <laughs> so, you know, hit your it's it, it, time come and then time within it is talagang time in multiple aspects in your life. Time for family, time for who you are actually. Time like not someone who you are, but what you, your personal life is talagang already blended in with boss coral ne. So everything that happens in your life is already, talagang it's already a part of it. It's not anymore a side quest. Aside from the victory, aside from the winnings, I think what pushes them is their personal love for music. I think music competes them. And then winning competitions would just be add-ons. I think it's their love for music that pushes them to practice religiously every day. They even practice at home. They have to practice their songs at home. I think that's what pushes them. I think, ano, um, yung love for music talaga. Everyone kasi, Nasa masalis sa Bosker. I'm pretty sure passionate sila sa music, passionate sila sa singing. So regardless kung may downfalls, regardless kung matatalo or anything, um, yung yung point na talagang they just really want to express themselves through music. And at the same time, yung uh, encouragement and yung mga uh, pagsusuway ni Sir Pauline sa amin. Kasi hindi naman may iwasan eh. All boys school tayo, magulo. Pero enjoy naman talaga. Well, ganun talaga. When you choose one thing, you don't choose the other. So, uh, it's not something na parang ire-regret mo, in a sense. Kasi it's just a matter of choosing what you want to do. At that, at that time, yun yung gusto kong gawin. Joining this, joining this group, parang you really need to commit yourself. Hindi lang para sa image, hindi lang para sa choir, kasi para din sa sarili mo na you'd be willing to become a better singer, become a better choir member para din makatulong ka sa mga bago at makakontribute ka sa kung anong meron ang boss koral sa ngayon. Ano, you committed to this and that, ano, kailangan mo siyang panindigan. Kasi lalo na pag boss koral ka talaga, um, sometimes yung rehearsal namin the whole day na. Lalo na pag may competition na malapit. So, go. So, siguro yung pinaka-intense namin na nangyari na rehearsal was like 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Tapos nagkaroon din one time na it was super tiring, 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Siguro for me, sabi ko nga kanina, it isn't 
seen as much of a sacrifice because alam ko sa sarili ko na may sense ng ginagawa ko na I'm using my time for something good, something I want. So parang it's not like I'm letting go of it. As the time goes by, um, natututo din ako from my mistakes from the past years. Then hindi lang ako natututo sa kan sa mga bata, kundi natututo din ako sa ibang conductors. Kasi may mga times na like invite kami ng mga conductors to rehearse with with the members. Aside from musicality, siguro yung pag-handle ng group as a all may ang hirap-hirap na na humawak ng isang all may at first year ko siya ginawa as a newly hired teacher. Handling the choir, siguro yon. Then um yung pag yung pag-connect sa mga members kasi different backgrounds, different um, attitudes na kailangan mo as a group ma mapag-isa sila. Dedication and hard work, they pay off. The boss girl has been winning competitions left and right here and abroad. And I guess that's what I learned from them. From them. That if I, if I give my best, if I do what is expected of me, then everything will, will be okay. Every time I watch them, there's, there are times they did not get the first place. I always tell them that God has other plans. And look at them now, they, can, they traveled outside the country and still bringing, the, bringing Don Bosco or showing how, bos how good are the Bosconians. The individual differences of your students, the member of the boss choral, that's their talent. And when you ask me about the lesson, maybe you have to, to support their talents, maybe to give your support morally, spiritually, and maybe financially, no? because sometimes they compete in other countries and you really have to support them. As a department head, Maybe the, the lesson that uh, I got every time they give their uh, performances is to really, I think, support every talent of uh, the student. The boss choral, as they are today, we all know that they were not the boss choral that we know today. Before they became world-class champions, before they were able to craft their particular skills, it was a journey. And take note, the members are uh, changing every year. They're always new members. But they were able to build a family among themselves that even the alumni are already part of sharing their talents. In certain occasions, it is already the alumni who are uh, teaching the, their younger ones. So I think this is what is good with Boss Corral. They were able to really form a family that I'm sure it would go on. No, it would go on because many have already believed uh, in this particular uh, club and they did not anymore treat it as simply a club but as a family. As a family, part of the bigger family of Don Bosco. From a small group of young people to now the pride of Don Bosco Makati. The boss girl has done more than what they were expecting and it looks like they won't be slowing down anytime soon. A handful of sacrifices, obstacles, doubts have brought them success and change for the better. Some might see boss girl only as a coral, but if you look at it differently, the boss girl is bringing into life the mission of St. John Bosco for the young.